Now, you think um, this is new, this studio here, but there's even more to show you because Michelle Hussein has got Impact next and she's over here. Hello, George. You've got the first uh, new look GMT now under your belt. Now it's our turn at Impact and Impact's home is over at this side of the studio. So that's where we'll be in a moment. Welcome to you all. Today on the programme, we're going to take a virtual tour of the South China Sea and find out why there are so many disputes there at the moment. That's just one part of what we have coming up for you here on Impact. So keep watching. We call this place the world's newsroom. The BBC's new home has floor after floor of journalistic expertise. And if I need to get a local perspective on stories happening in any part of the world, I can find someone to give me just that. I want to find out local perspective on the ground. What are people saying about the new president? People are very positive of the new president. It's been 20 years. People are tired. But best of all, we can share that knowledge with you too. Welcome to the World's Newsroom. And welcome to a brand new look for Impact and for BBC World News. It's our first day on air from this studio and we hope you like what you see. Coming up on today's programme, how the worst winter for decades is making life for Syrian refugees more difficult by the day. We meet the families who are struggling to survive in Lebanon. The children, the children are, are everywhere and you see them there, their hands are, are freezing and their teeth are just are chattering, they're so cold. Also the world's biggest gathering of people, that's what's happening right now in India as the Kumela gets underway. We're going to explain why bathing in the waters here is so prized. And you've had a glimpse of our studios already, but there's lots more to see in our new home. It's the best of the BBC's global journalism all in one place. And you get the guided tour here on Impact. Hello, it's a bitterly cold winter in the Middle East, but imagine just how tough it is when you're living in makeshift accommodation after escaping your country with little more than the clothes on your backs. That's what it's like for Syrian refugees, and the spillover effect of the conflict is now so great that one aid agency says that the Middle East is on the brink of humanitarian disaster. So here's what our chief international correspondent, Lise Doucette, has seen of the hardship for Syrians in Lebanon. It's been the worst of winters for people who fled the worst of wars. Across a blanket of snow in the Bekaa Valley, you can see Syrian families in the distance. They've taken refuge by a mosque. Uh, reports just coming into us relating to a uh, Somalia, though. The Islamist group there, Al Shabaab, has said that a wounded French soldier that it captured during that failed French hostage rescue uh, raid, you might uh, recall the effort was to try and, uh, uh, to try and um, release the hostage that had been taken. But I'll on. Lots more coming up from Impact in just a moment. Stay with us. the 49 years of the Sony Open in Hawaii. Buying from the Chinese and the next two decades may be about selling to the Chinese. Welcome to a brand new look for Impact 
and for BBC World News. It's our first day on air from our new studio and we hope you like what you see. Coming up on today's programme, how the worst winter for decades is making life for Syrian refugees more difficult by the day. We meet the families struggling to survive in Lebanon. It's the children, the children are, are everywhere and you see them there, their hands are, are freezing and their teeth are just are chattering, they're so cold. Also, it'll be a July birth, it's confirmed that the Duchess of Cambridge's baby is due in six months time. And you've had a glimpse of our new studios, but there's lots more to see in our new home. It's the best of the BBC's global journalism all in one place and you get the guided tour here on Impact. Hello, it's a bitterly cold winter in the Middle East this year, but imagine how it feels to those living in makeshift accommodation after escaping their country with little more than the clothes on their backs. That's the reality for many Syrian refugees. And the look forward to it. A new programme about to make its debut. Good luck, John. And that is it from me and the uh, Impact team. Do join us, though, at the same time tomorrow. Again, the New Look Impact. Goodbye.